Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie another one of Jack Gartside's pattern. This is a filiplume emerger. The hook that I have in the vise is a this is a size 12 standard dry fly hook. This is a Maruto. Actually it's a barbless very sharp hook. I'm going to use dark brown thread and this is Hemingway and this is a, uh, I believe and we're going to start the thread behind the eye and bring the thread back to the tail area. Hold that thread at that 45 degree angle about. And get nice touching turns. And we're going to bring that right back to where it starts to bend. Now for the tail, I'm going to use wood duck flank. You can use mallard flank. You can use any barred flank feather. So I happen to have a wood duck flank here handy. We want that tail to be about the length of the hook shank. This is actually a, you can make this a combination dry fly and wet fly. It's a, it's another cripple cripple mayfly emergent mayfly and remove that excess Oop, I didn't get it at all there we go it is a another one of the crippled emergers you could fish this right under the surface or in the film you fish it on top if you use a CDC hackle on it. But this one is not going to get a CDC hackle. I'm going to turn this over so it makes it a little easier for me to uh, dub my dubbing. First I'm going to put some wax on there. I'm going to use hair's ear dubbing and I'm going to mix that with some awesome possum. You want a kind of uh, spiky body on this, a really scraggly body. I got some dark hairs here here. This doesn't have a real lot of guard hairs in it. I'm gonna take some natural I'm gonna take some natural awesome possum. Get it out of my there we go. So I got some dark hairs here and some natural awesome possum. I'm gonna get a little more of that. This is definitely going to be too much for this fly, but and I'm just going to mix it up in my fingers. Just kind of blend it all together there. And actually the possum will actually hold the hairs here. Because the possum has more like fuzzy under, under hair like material in it. Where the hairs here is basically a shaved rabbit and it's very dry so we're gonna load that up we're not gonna put it on real we're not gonna make a fat noodle but we're not going to skimp on the amount that we're gonna put on there so we're gonna make a long noodle got a nice color to this it's almost like a March Brown color or a Hendrickson color kind of got that natural color to it let me see before I go and put that last bit on let's see how far we get with this I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this we don't want to go all the way up we want to leave a couple eye lengths and then I'm going to come forward again. One of the reasons for this, having it thick, is you can go ahead and you can tease that out a bit. Use your dubbing teaser, whether it be like me with a gun cleaning brush or a piece of Velcro. You get a nice scraggly body there. Now for the wing, 
I'm going to take, I have a pheasant rump here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend these, I'm going to take the after shaft feathers, these are filiplume or after shaft or chicken poop, but I'm actually going to take two or three of them. There's two. I'm going to get three. It's real easy to pick these out. I mean, you just fold it and then every feather has an after shaft feather. And we're going to take these and we're going to bring these all together. And if we're going to make the wing with this, I'm actually going to pop a little of that off. Get a little bit thicker of the stem there. Go ahead and tie this in. I'm going to remove the material on the back. Pick everything up and pull it back. And get that nice and tight to the bottom there. It'll actually kind of push it back. There's our nice mayfly wing, emerging wing. And now I'm going to take a partridge feather. I'm going to go ahead and clean off the fuzz from them. So I'll have a nice, nice handle to wrap it with by keeping that instead of clipping it. I'm going to grip the front tip and pull all of that back. And we're going to tie this in. And you can pull that tip back. Just give you a little extra assurance. And I'm going to trim off that little bit of excess tip. Got a little bit of the fill of plume there, but that's all right. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this hackle. And this is the point, if you want this totally dry, you would use a CDC feather on this part. And stroke those feathers to the rear as you're going. I'm going to go ahead and catch this with my thread. And there we go. And I can take that hackle plier off. Trim away that stem. Go ahead and tease that, tease that hackle back out. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the awesome possum and just make a little bit of a head here.